Hello folks, it is August 15th, 2019. I am at Samuel de Champlain Provincial Park. Going to try to get a sight by the water. I failed at it last night at Driftwood, but tonight I think I'll get one. Yeah, river sight. 133. It's a pretty big park. Here we are. Site 133. This one's a little different. Carry my stuff down here. Set the tent over there. No picnic table. Oh well. This is nice. Got a river. Huh. I'm gonna sit right here and eat lunch. I had a crispy chicken bacon Caesar wrap. Now I got the wedgies with ranch dip. It's going down good. Watching people float by. So I guess we're coming from Moore Lake. I guess I gotta walk back. It is time to go hiking. Just got the tent set up. Okay, here I am. Antonine Trails. So, I'm right here. I think I will start off with the geology loop, the yellow. Then when I get here, I'll decide if I want to keep going or not. Here we go. Hopefully you see a bear this time. Cool, I guess there'll be a marker for every single trail, color-coded. Well, I'm about half a K in. I haven't seen anything yet, just in a straight bush. And rocks. Can't really go very fast on this trail. Yeah, look at this mess. Slow going. Climbing a fair size hill. Looks like we're coming to our first opening with the lake down there. Hey, 700 meters in. What a view. And for once, the bugs aren't bad. As a fly buzzes around me. So the trail went in from the lake. Now I'm climbing up another hill and I didn't even go down. Lots of elevation. Whoa. Guess the hard work and that's for sure. I should let out of breath. Well, finally get to go downhill. Yeah. Down, down, down we go. This section's faster. I actually get like better stride going instead of these baby steps. Here is the cutoff to go do the green loop. But I gotta stay on the yellow. It's kind of buggy back here, but that trail's hardly traveled. It'd be worse. What is going on here? Look at all this rubble. Rubble, I tell you. I'm gonna check out this lake over here. Cool. Looks like this was purposely dammed or something, but I don't know how they would have moved all this rubble. Dynamite? Here's the other side. It's a 
dinosaur egg. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, okay, I guess I gotta go through here. The air is so much cooler in this little canyon, it's neat. It feels nice. This trail keeps getting weirder and weirder. Where is it taking me? Okay. Just gotta climb up somehow. Oh, this is so loop. Okay, just got out of that little canyon. Now it's more open, the nice breeze. Hmm. One of this was dammed by a beer before, now it drained. Okay, I have no idea where I am. I just kept going forward and couldn't find any more trail markers, so I only have to go back the way I came before I really get lost. I swear I am now. I went like 200 meters that way, the wrong way. So here's where I came out of that little canyon. And I was supposed to go that way instead of that way, which a lot of people have been doing because it's worn a path. All right, now I'm on track. Yeah, this used to be a beaver dam. Here's where it got blown open over time. I wonder if there's a huge flood, flood of water flowing through here. Okay, so I just came from out there. And over here, this is where the green and blue trail loop back up to join the yellow one once again. So I'm on track to head back to the car. Just came out to a little lake. So the start of the hike goes up on those hills over there. This is the fastest section of the whole trail. Flat board. It goes on for a while. Yeah, it's popped out. Park has boat rentals here. Back to the car. I am back at the car. 6.24 kilometers, one hour 37 total moving time. The lowest point here, 4 to 18 meters. Highest point, 512, so it's almost 100 meters, so that's 300 feet difference. Lots of climbing out there. Yeah, there's those hills at the start. So I'd say that hike's moderate. It wasn't too technical, a few spots had to climb a bit. But just lots of ups and downs, not much flat ground. But interesting, I like that hike. Alright, back to the site. Okay, I'm gonna go for a walk. It is six o'clock. I'm gonna go check out the beach. I might jump in the lake or I'm gonna check it out and have a shower. See what I feel when I get there. Oh, right, here's 123. I was actually gonna book 123 and the guy's like, no, 133 is better. It's not. Whatever. But look at this. Yeah, this is much more beautiful. In my view, so that's the tubers launch. I don't know, I gotta figure this out. I keep floating by. I think they're probably done for today, though. Okay, this has got to be where they're launching from. You can drive like right down here. Danger high voltage. Okay, let's check this out. So, this is where the water flows out of that lake. I can't remember the name right now, I got the map though. It's kind of neat. Oh yeah, it was dammed up a little bit. Man-made dam. Oh, okay. That's part of the campground too over there. There's no campsites over there. It's just like a day use type beach thing. Here is site 120. It's not too bad. It smells a bit. Algae, I think, but whatever. 119. Got some big pines on site. Oh, that's waterfront too. What's that? 118. Well, the sun's out now. I should look it was going to rain earlier. How dark it is to the east. But I'm not going swimming here. I'll just go jump in the shower. 
scrub down with some soap after a sweaty hike. This one's a little nicer. Just had another bad shower experience. Grateful this morning, it was cold. Shower right now, it went from super hot to super cold and it shut off every 20 seconds. So I'd get like 10 seconds of hot water and then I'd stand out and cool down and then turn it back on. And you know, like you're in the middle of soaking yourself. Eyes closed because soap gets in the eyes and the shower shuts off and you're frustrated. But yeah, whatever. It's a first world problem, but I mean, you pay 45 bucks a night to camp and expecting the facilities to work. And you get this. So again, today or tomorrow morning, back a comment card. Shower's not working right. And I'll explain that because you got to report this stuff. So this happened to when you're out camping. So I had the cave and bought some provincial park wood, eight bucks a bag. I hope it is not wet because the joke goes that provincial park store the firewood in the lake to preserve them. All right, fire time. Good start. The better slot on the burn. Or run out of fire. We still got some in the trunk, but not much more. But no struggling. Get it cooking. I think I have to eat canned food again tonight because I didn't bring anything. I don't do dishes around here. Burn off. Last night's chili. Which I don't want to ruin the enamel or whatever you call it on the pot. <laughs> Ricky from Trailer Park Boys. All right. Uh, I guess that's good. Pure laziness. Or is it not? I actually had to stop at Dollarama to buy this can opener in Pembroke. But I'd buy some other stuff too. Actually, it works pretty good. Two dollars. Nice. So the party from site 134 left today and they put their bags in the post thinking that they're going to be recycled i don't understand why people think that they're not going to ship the bags back to the company that supplies the firewood a lot of them are probably cracked open like i just did to mine so you know what i'm joining the trend here you go <laughs> that's how you do it torn up bag <clears throat> My beef stew is boiling nicely. $2.50 meal from Shoppers Drug Mart. Look at that. Like it might look gross coming out of a can of stuff, but when you boil it up, it tastes pretty good. And I do know how to eat healthy. I look at the can. Besides some excessive salt, which is not even that bad, plus one gram of saturated fat, this is actually a Pretty healthy meal. Good mix of carbs, fat, and protein, and lots of vitamins. Well, my stew finally cooled off. Got this chunk of beef. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. 11 o'clock. Could be a nice fire going. Good morning. I had an awesome sleep. I packed up. Left the site clean for the next people. Anyhow, 
yeah, nice park overall. Can't complain. That trail yesterday was really nice, minus a few deer flies, but they won't be around for much longer as we get closer to September. Anyhow, I'm gonna take off. Please like and subscribe. Check out my buddy's Paul channel, Green Blue Earth. Put the link in the description below. It is time to go. I'm gonna go meet family at a cottage. I might camp more next week. We'll see what happens. Car camping on weekends in the summer? Nah, not my thing. Alright, I'm out. Bye.